and we're back. Just as we finished watching a show, I managed to segregate my items, put them where they should be, which will make it a bit easier to segregate. In this episode, I will try to hit the, food, the medical area, see what we can get from there, and I will try to hit these two houses. But first, let's go for the medical area. It's rather early, so it shouldn't be too much problem. I'll just speed up time as always. Okay, since this place is a bit crowded, let's do a little bit of fighting. My weapon should last me a little bit. Okay, we have got two of them. Let's lead them here. Okay. Okay, it's bad. Okay, let's do it a bit differently. Let's try to knock him down and then finish him off. Because this weapon is almost broken. Which is bad. Because we don't really have another at hand. Okay, no more zombies, so just this hard should be easy to deal with. Let's knock it down. Okay, okay. That's going to be a bit intense. Okay, let's be smart about this. Let's be smart about this. Let's make some distance. Let's make a lot of distance. Okay. That worked rather well. They get up so fast, it's a bit annoying. Okay, let's use the fence again. Better to be safe. You can actually position yourself much closer to the fence. This way when they jump over you have more time to attack them. And it's less of a risk that you will be bitten. So it's a good thing to do. Okay. That went rather well. There's a zombie in this building. Which may as well start the looting by visiting this area. Oh, perfect. He has a weapon. Let's just drag him out of the building first. Perfect. A lot of good stuff on him, but first... Can you, like, lay down? Thank you. Can you lay down? Thank you very much. Okay, and what can we find in here? That's a key. It's always handy. Nothing inside here. What about inside here? That's a magazine. That's something. Nothing on here. Okay, what kind of books do we have? Okay, this would be useful. This as well. This as well. Not much else. I was hoping for a backpack. Okay, and these two containers are actually huge. A lot of food. We may have to go back home before looting the meds. Okay. I will grab this as well. 
That's under weapon, that's more storage for, for water, so that's good. That's a lot of food. Actually more than I was expecting. I will be a little bit overweight, but it's worth the risk. It's totally worth the risk. Any tools here, like a hammer or something? No. A man can dream. Okay, I'm gonna grab that. Ooh, a holster. So we have a gun. Interesting. And um, this is not another ammunition. Okay. We have a gun, but that can be used only in a specific situation because our character can't really shoot well with guns since our shooting skill is pretty much zero. So even if we have 15 bullets, I guess that's barely enough for a single magazine. I mean, for a single zombie or something. Okay. Let's see here. If we can knock him down. Okay. Okay, despite being severely loaded, we still managed to kill it. That's decent. Oh, I guess we can easily make a wall here once we get an axe. Could be easily barricaded, but first let's get back. As always, I will quickly segregate these items and I will be right back. Okay, we're back. We managed to swiftly segregate a lot of items that we gathered. I guess we'll have to do one more run, you know, on another day. To finish up, since we did gather a lot. The lack of backpack is a big issue. We have to somehow get it. The good news is that we managed to get a proper weapon. Other than this kitchen knife. So that's something. We're all our French thingy is almost gone, the pipe wrench. Which is a shame since it's a good, very good weapon. Especially in the early days when you're fighting a few zombies at a time. But okay, let's cook something. Level up cooking. I need something decent. I uh, once it's daytime, I will try to head once again for the meds. Without the backpack, it's gonna take a little bit to do it, but we should manage it. After that, we'll try to loot a few more houses in the area. And then we're gonna take a little bit of a break from looting and we'll try to focus on reading all the books we've gathered because we do have a lot of books and it would be a good moment to find a day where we can like read a few of them especially the levels one axe tailoring foraging stuff like that but for now let's go up and let's see if we can maybe barricade upstairs a little bit we can pick this up, place it here, and maybe we can find one more table, that's too big, oh, this should do. If something bad happens, this should give me a bit more time 
Yep, that should do. Now I should be able to sleep somewhat safely. Okay, I am a bit queasy, which is not good. It's gone, which is even better, because I was a bit all afraid it could be infection. But we'll see how it progresses. Okay, let's pass time a little bit more. Just so it's daytime and I can actually see what's going on. Okay, let's pick up the table. Let's put it down. And let's cook something. Okay, let's cook this. Oh. I moved a little bit too fast. Okay. We're gonna put this on and we're gonna turn this on. Oh, okay. I guess what I can already guess what happened. I probably pulled out the meat too fast, and it was just uncooked. Scared myself for a second. We can eat half of this, and this should last us the entire day. Yep, it's full to burst. Okay, so it's day and it's raining, which on one hand is bad, but on the other hand, we still have to loot. And we have to clear the area a little bit more. I guess fighting during the rain won't be that bad. And we can't really negate the need to clear out this area. Otherwise we'll run into an issue where there's a horde every single time we leave the base. It's better to just meet a few stranglers every time rather than a sizable number. And that's some XP, mainly for short blunt, which in my opinion is one of the stronger weapon types. Axe and spears are still superior, but we don't have access to them yet. I guess we can start crafting spears once we get access to a um, saw or at least a hammer, so we'll be able to destroy some kind of furniture to make planks and then we can sell them into spears oh it's open okay okay let's be careful around this house there's a lot of tight corners in here okay it's safe in here Okay, it's safe in here. Let's go upstairs. Let's first loot upstairs. Looks safe. Tweezers, bandage, sewing kit. Okay, okay, that's good. That's very good. Athletic and sprinting. Oh, how to use a generator? No, that's a good hit. That's a very, very good hit. A backpack would be nice? No backpack. Okay. One day. One day we can find it. One day. That's more food. Okay, that's actually good. And we got a griddle pan. Okay, okay. That's a good weapon. That's a very good weapon. Uh, we can eat this, we can drink this, and we can eat this. Let's actually build up some calories. 
Okay, so we're full. Let's also grab this. Yeah, let's rotate back to base and come back here. A lot of stuff. In order to make this a little bit faster, I will just grab all the stuff, drop it on the ground, and we'll segregate it a bit later. There was a tool shed, if I recall correctly. Not here, okay. But somewhere nearby. There was tool shed, okay. So in this area. We'll have to visit that, but first let's loot medical. The faster I have it done, the better. So I'll have access to a lot of medical items in case something goes bad. Now oh, we can equip this secondary. That will help us gather more stuff. Okay, let's loot. Nothing here, nothing here. Okay, let's see what else do we have. Decent stuff. Okay, first aid, that's gonna be handy. Anything else? More disinfection. And lastly, just a bit more, okay. Okay, I say that's decent amount of meds. Decent amount should cover my pretty much every need I have in case I get hurt or something. Still won't help me with a bite, but then again, it's kind of hard to deal with a bite in this game. Okay. Let's drop. All of that here. And right now we can mark that. Oh, right, I forgot. I put away my pencil. We can mark that this is looted. Did I put away my water bottle? Oh, I did. Okay, that's bad. Mm, I should probably should have it somewhere in this. Yep, there it is. Okay. Right now, let's visit the tool shed here. After that, I think we currently have enough to survive a decent time. So we can safely and comfortably try to read a lot of stuff. All the books that we have. Oh, there he is. Okay, under the fence. Five wrench is almost gone, so we can use it till it's, till it's break. So that's something. They have anything on them? Oh, there's another zombie down, down there. Actually, two of them, heck. Okay, can you like lie down, sir? Thank you very much. Agitated again. Okay, so we have to smoke a cigarette. 
Right, we lost time to find more cigarettes. The thing about Agitated is that while it's bad for, for PvE, as it decreases your damage, it's not really that big of an issue. It will make it harder to sleep, but if you're spending a few days at home and you don't plan to live, you don't really have to smoke. And then if you want to get rid of this, you can just smoke a single one to get rid of it. Oh. Oh, we have a working car. Okay. That's actually surprising. I wasn't expecting that to happen so fast. Oh my god, yeah. I take back what I said. I take back what I said. Oh my god. What about here? Hmm, it's closed. Okay, let's check this shed. But this drives a little bit, so I guess... I guess we can do something about it. Oh, a generator. Okay, that is unexpected, but very welcomed. And let's see. Okay, we got a garden saw. That's huge. And a screwdriver and an empty gas can. Okay. Okay. I will take this with me. And let's head back. Okay, so we have a generator. Uh, we may as well... Actually, no. We have to deal with this zombie first. I will let that zombie go. And I will just take fuel from this course. They should have some fuel in them. I will siphon the fuel from here. Okay, so that has no fuel. How much did we get? A decent amount. If the generator would have to be turned on, this fuel would last us around a day. Maybe two. But we still need a gas station, in case we actually want to do something with this, gener with this generator in the long term. There was this one zombie that went this way. Where did he go? I guess we can find him later. There he is, okay, okay. Let's drop this for a second, and let's deal with this little rascal. Can you, like, lay down for a second? Thank you. Okay, that's gone. Let's move forward. Take the generator with me. And let's move by speeding up time. Uh, okay, I would appreciate if you didn't hit my windows. Thank you very much. It's so annoying. The respawn is turned off, and yet they just still come and come. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, let's put this generator on the back. Let's put it right here. Let's connect the generator. Okay, that was a weird thing. Well, let's add fuel. Generator info. 30%. Okay, that's actually not bad. Oh, it's closed? Okay, weird. I need to have that auto open. It's very weird that the door there is closed, as it can get me killed if I have it locked. 
That's okay. Mm, we've got that. Now I will do one more time lapse just to quickly segregate all the items we have in here. And since it's gonna take a little bit, it will be quicker this way. Okay, we're back, with a few items that are left to segregate. Uh, after a bit of looting, we've managed to get quite a sizable amount of items, which is pretty good, I have to say. The best way to use them would be to sit a few days at home, since we pretty much have most of the things we need. The only thing we're missing is a hammer. And that will be a bit annoying to find it. I guess during the daytime, we can visit another tool shed, which is here. We can visit that, maybe it will have what we need. But since we're stuck at home either way, let's read something. First, let's go over this, go to the skills. What can we read? Hmm, we can read first aid, because we don't have any levels in first aid. So let's grab that. Let's turn the TV on. Let's tune in. Sit comfortably and let's read. As always, I will just time lapse this so it's a bit quicker. Okay, one more hour and we have the five. Let's start the day by cooking something. We may as well level up cooking before the food spoils and cooking up will I mean leveling up cooking will be a bit harder. What can we cook? Let's see. Let's cook salmon. Let's go here, and let's go. After that, we're gonna try and go for that other shed. See what we can find there. Pretty much the only thing we need is a hammer, and we have a whole complete. Then we can go to a nearby house, disassemble doors and furniture, get nails, planks, start some barricades, make some spears. But the first few planks I will get, I will probably turn into spears, make like five or six spears, so we can defend ourselves. This is red, so I'll just put it here, since there's no more place in here. Let's read this. And let's just drop it for now. Okay, we have decent amount of space. Let's head out. First, let's see if any neighbors appeared. Nothing here. There's a few up there, but I don't really mind them. Let's do a quick roam around. Nothing here. Perfect. Okay, let's go. So, we have to go here, just up and up there, okay. Let's go then. Mm, 
not too much of an issue there. The shed was up there, okay. Now let's be careful. It's a zombie, doesn't have anything on him. That's a zombie behind the fence. Oh, there's three of them and one dead. I have to remember that. Okay. Well, let's start with this. Okay, that's a bit scary. I wasn't expecting them to get fu this quickly up. Okay, they are gone. Before we start looting, let's take care of a zombie that was here. Yeah, there he, there he is. Or rather she. Hard to tell sometimes. Anything good on you? Another Louisville map. Too far away from Louisville to actually care, but... What did they have? Okay, that's a gun. And a magazine. Okay, that's handy. So we have two guns. Which we can't shoot yet. I mean, we can try, but... Shooting in the middle of Muldrow is not the best idea. Learn it the hard way. At least she made a pathway for us, so... Let's remove this. And let's get inside. Okay, what do we have here? Duct tape. Okay, that's actually useful. Empty gas can. Ah, that has some usage for it. And metal bar. Okay, two good weapons. Since we have two metal bars. Let's see, maybe this house has some kind of... Utility storage or something. It's a bathroom. Oh, it has. Okay, perfect. No. Any other sheds in the area? Nothing. Great. So we're stuck with no hammer. And a client coming towards us. Let's meet him. Oh my god, there's actually two of them here. Still agitated. Okay. Let's just come back to base. But while we're here, let's see if we can siphon fuel. Nope. This is... Okay, so no gas here, okay. So, pretty much, we got nothing. That's bad. I was hoping for a hammer. We didn't got the hammer, but we can manage it, I can guess. We did get a few guns, so that's something. Let's see. So we got a revolver and a few and a few bullets for it, so that's something. And we got this. I'm not really good with guns, so not sure if I will be using it. So this goes here and this uses this ammunition, okay. So we have five bullets for this gun. And an entire magazine, plus some bullets for browning black mark. 
in risky situations at least we can rely on something to have to have our back. I also got more weapons, so handy. We can also make a spear, which I should make and start leveling up, since I can make spears that are a bit sturdy. Let's try to disassemble the chairs. And the hammer for it as well. Okay, that's bad. Where can we find a hammer? I guess I will can try to loot these houses. Just for the storage rooms. Let's just make it quick. Okay, that's a zombie coming from somewhere. I don't know where exactly. Oh, I can see. I can see where. There he is. What the? Where is he wearing? A whiteboard. You can wear it on you. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, this goes into the thumbnail. Empty, really? Okay, I'm not really gonna bother looting the entire house right now. It's not the point. Let's look this down there. Let's hope that maybe, maybe this house will have what I'm looking for. Okay, it has some kind of occupant. That's cigarettes. Okay, that's good. Okay, so that's where the zombies were coming from. a cigarette. It's still something, I guess. Another one, okay. And that wine is something. Oh, stealth level one, always useful. Yes, there we go. And gloves as well. Okay, we got pretty much what we need. Let's head away from here. Houses like this are scary. Always watch out for them. There's usually a lot of stuff on the ground and some kind of environmental storytelling. The situation with these houses is it's either a really funny or just interesting environmental storytelling, like a party or a lot of paper inside the house. Or there's like 20 something zombies inside the house. So always be careful. Usually it has like decent loot. Out of alcohol and other stuff that's usually hard to find unless you're in a bar. But okay, we found the hammer. Now we can actually start improving the base. Let me just put... Let me just place a few of those. Okay, what do we need first? Let's disassemble the chairs. We got a plank and... Oh, interesting. Can I disassemble this? Oh, I can. Perfect. Okay, I got more nails. How much do we need? Do I have a window here? 
and no window here, so that's pretty much it. Okay, great, we can turn this into spears. I need to make one of those. Make a star this stick. Oh, making the star sticks was actually a bit of a mistake. Uh, we can find a usage for them later. But this item was pretty important to make since we have forests nearby. We can do all some herbal medicine with this item, so it's good we have access to it. Okay, so we have pretty much every single tool except sledgehammer. And then there's a few tools used for mechanic stuff, which I don't really like to bother with, since I don't really use cores that much. I guess we're gonna look for them once we actually get a car that's working. First, let's just wash ourselves. So we have that done. Fill it up. Okay, and let's cook something. Now what we should do is... Hmm. When the plan. Since we have the tools, it would be a good idea to disassemble whatever we don't need inside the house. And make the barricades a little bit better. And make spears. A lot of spears since they will be breaking a lot and just carry around three at a time on me that should help with zombies and then just like light weapons that should do i guess okay let's eat half how's my weight it's still going down despite the amount of food i'm eating okay Let's go upstairs and look for stuff we can disassemble. Oh. Actually, we can finally disassemble this since no windows are fixed. In order to make a spear with a knife, so I'm gonna take it with me and not make the mistake again. But let me grab a knife from the bottom. Okay, grab Actually grab two, since I'm gonna make a lot of spears, I can pretty much already guess this knives will break. Okay, we don't need this. So this can go. This I will actually keep and use as the main bedroom, so if I use this as main bedroom, I can disassemble this bed, so that's a lot of XP. And a lot of nails, which is perfect, since I don't have a lot of nails. I would also like to find a fireplace, which I can put inside the house, so the scrap woods I would actually keep. They have some good usage. Okay, so we have three planks. Let's make spears. So we have three crafted spears. Let's put them here for now. Well, let's disassemble this as well. More spears, more nails. And nothing would really disassemble in here, okay. Well, let's grab that. Let's attach this to my back. I put that away and I will put one spear away. Okay, plank. I will put it here for now as well as the nails. We don't need them right now. The knives didn't break, which is good. Whatever you used to make spears can break, so always good to watch out. And now we have a proper weapon. 
hammer I actually want to have attached on my right side. This we can put away. What else can we put away? This gun. There's an item. Okay. Pretty decent. We're gonna need to smoke cigarette. Even though we're agitated. It's a bit light, so let's go to sleep. And then we can use this as the main bedroom. Keep some food and some water upstairs in case I'm surrounded, but I don't think that's gonna be an issue since I can just jump out of the window. I can keep some weapons upstairs. Let's head downstairs and catch a little bit of throw. Maybe we can find something decent. It should be a show at like 6 a.m. So let's prepare another meal. Let's just grab this. Put this here. And let's turn it on. Oh, okay. Slowly, slowly. And there we go. Okay, let's just enjoy this. I'll just keep time a little bit. And we have it, six days. And 69 zombies killed. Interesting. Okay. I will end the episode here. If we manage to get 40 views on this episode, I will post another episode where we'll start by reading every single book we have and segregating through all my food. But right now, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like or some kind of comment and I will see you in another episode.